The Samsung Galaxy A36 has just surfaced for the first time, giving us a glimpse of what Samsung has in store for its mid-range smartphone lineup next year. In this video, we're diving into the first leaked details about the Galaxy A36 from its processor and RAM to its display and camera upgrades. Let's break down what we know so far. Samsung is already working on its next generation of mid-range smartphones, and the Galaxy A36 has made its debut in Geekbench's database. This unannounced device, identified by the model number SMA366B, is expected to be the Galaxy A36 with 5G connectivity following Samsung's established naming pattern. What's exciting is that the Galaxy A36 is set to launch with Android 15 right out of the box, which means it will most likely come equipped with One UI 7.0. This makes it one of the first Samsung mid-range devices to run the latest Android software at launch. Let's talk performance. According to the Geekbench listing, the Galaxy A36 is powered by an octa-core CPU with four high-performance cores clocked at 2.4 GHz and four power-efficient cores at 1.8 GHz. The phone is expected to feature Qualcomm's Adreno 710 GPU, which indicates that the device will either run on the Snapdragon 6 Gen 3 or the Snapdragon 7's Gen 2 chipset. Both of these chips are produced using Samsung Foundry's 4 nanometer fabrication process, which is a step up from the 5 nanometer process used in the Galaxy A35. This means we can expect better power efficiency and possibly improved battery life compared to its predecessor. While the exact chip is still a mystery, early benchmarks suggest that the Galaxy A36 performance will be on par, with the upgrades are expected to enhance the overall viewing experience, making the Galaxy A36 a strong contender for anyone looking for a high quality screen in the mid range market. Cameras are another area where Samsung could bring improvements. Rumor has it that the Galaxy A36 could feature a 32 megapixel front facing selfie camera, which would be a big step up from the previous generation. Additionally, the phone might come with a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, similar to what we've seen on higher end models like the Galaxy A55. These camera upgrades, combined with Samsung's software enhancements, should result in sharper selfies and more detailed ultra wide shots, making the Galaxy A36 a versatile option for photography lovers. While the Galaxy A36 may see improvements in its display and camera setup, some specs are likely to remain unchanged. The phone will likely carry forward the Galaxy A35 stereo speakers, IP67 water and dust resistance rating, and 5000 mAh battery with 25 watt fast charging. These are already solid features that give the Galaxy a series of reputation for reliability and durability. So there you have it, the first look at the Galaxy A36. With its Android 15 operating system, efficient 4 nanometer chipset, and potential display and camera upgrades, it's shaping up to be a strong contender in Samsung's mid-range lineup for next year. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big foam of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9 inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3mm x 79mm. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now, onto the display. Both phones deliver top-tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9-inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate. 
As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just 1 hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch AMOLED display that also supports 120 hertz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well, but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top-tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.